Greetings crafters and welcome to episode 116 of Better Than Wolves with Tkush35. We're coming back after a little time of play and a delay after the New Year celebrations. Had some friends over and whatnot. Lots of fun. I have gone ahead and updated my texture pack to Wire's most recent, but I just noticed that my villagers aren't quite right, so I need to go fix that. I will do so in a moment. After admiring the new block of iron ore, looks very nice and much like the chunks of iron that it comes from. Speaking of which, we have a slightly updated uh, Better Than Wolves, which comes from some hot fixes that Flower Child made. Basically, it's a bunch of fixes that fixed mycelium, or sorry, nether wart, uh, mycelium and grass slab uh, consumption from cows and related things for uh, snow and ash cover. Basically, those won't spread to blocks covered by snow or ash, and cows that graze will clear that snow or ash. Uh, fixed a couple collision problems, changed a couple refactors to simplify code. Uh, he pointed out snowmen, and then vanilla pathfinding performance increase, changed the nether wart sound, and a couple other things that basically just improved his most recent update. So with that, I'm going to go fix my texture pack, and then I will be back for the action. Alright, so that went ahead and got the texture packs fixed. I just was copying them into the wrong locations for these other villagers. So that should be all fixed now. Um... Next up, I need to work on some potions, or I was hoping to get some potions before going into the nether, but my squid farm that I made over in the corner over there in between episodes has not yet produced anything. So I'm either going to wait for, for a little bit uh, in-game, see if anything spawns, or I'm just going to go into the nether and start uh, speed farming the withers as much as I can. Uh, either way, that'll be the next place that I see you in, so see you in a bit.
Well, that second session went uh, a lot faster than I thought it would. <coughs> After the first bout went through, I went and did a resupply with my potions, as you might see at the base there. Um, and I really wasn't expecting to get a skull so quickly. I was, I was prepared for a long haul, but that's super exciting for this evening because that means I can actually move on. We can do that trade. I'm um, feeling pretty good about these blazes right here because of the fire potion. Um, I might contemplate trying to put some sort of better setup for beheading in the future, especially since it's uh, so such a low drop rate for those skulls. Might see about making some sort of mob trap with uh, the the chopping blocks and whatnot. But for now, I'm just gonna head back to the other base with this lovely rune skull. Um, I'm gonna hope that the trades that Flower Child added come up before I need another one. I don't really wanna spend a whole lot of time farming them by hand if I can instead trade for them. So I'm gonna go ahead and gather the supplies that I left at this first base and then I will be back at the villager base. So I will see you then, toodles. Okay, here we are, back at the villager base, about to go make that trade with that priest and see what magical shenanigans he will give us, crossing into level four. Blah, 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 blah. Now, if I remember correctly, his skin should change into something a little more evil looking. <clears throat> I don't remember if the this particular texture pack had that... But, oh, he's who we get the Soul Forge from. Oh, but I need the Nether Star. Yep, and then that's how we get infused skulls. Lime candles, huh? Do I have some lime candles? <coughs> I have cactus green. Oh, I don't have any. That's a bummer. Okay. Well, I guess that will be the end of this episode. We're going to look into generating some more candles for getting emeralds and try to get some good trades up in here. Obviously, the next goal is another star, so we got to get the infused skulls, but that means I need ruined skulls. So I'm kind of hoping that I can just trade for those, otherwise I'm going to have to do some farming. And that I will probably end up doing in between episodes, maybe. <clears throat> it is kind of dangerous, so I feel that it's good to get on camera. At the very least, the exciting parts. So maybe I'll... Maybe I'll record what I do and then like put it all in a montage sort of thing rather than just do a speed through of everything that I did since that'll make things, in my opinion, a little more exciting to get the highlights. It's a little harder because then I'd have to uh, go back through all of my footage <coughs> in order to properly get the highlights or I just, you know, pause and then record and then there's the chance that I miss a thing because I didn't record fast enough so we'll see how that goes uh gonna so i'm gonna work on trading for sure and then move to maybe wither farming so <clears throat> pardon for the thro frog in my throat i can't quite talk <clears throat> so thank you for watching and tune in next time Toodaloo.